Hello, hello. Welcome guys. Uh, last video we looked at uh, protease inhibitors like uh, retonavir. In this video let us look at uh, indinavir and nelfinavir. So protease inhibitors they come under antiretroviral drugs. Uh, important four we should know are retonavir, indinavir, nelfinavir and etazanavir because etazanavir is used in combination with retonavir etc. Nelfinavir is never combined with ritonavir because ritonavir cannot increase the concentration of nelfinavir. Ritonavir is an enzyme inhibitor. If everything is sounding strange to you, that means you did not watch the last video. Go back and watch the last video and uh, now we will continue with the details of indinavir. Okay. Welcome, welcome people. Now let us look, protease inhibitors, they are antiretroviral drugs, they are more capable than uh, zidovudine, but they are used as reserve drug, they inhibit the protease enzyme. This protease enzyme, it's a protease, so it is an ACE, so it cuts the protein and makes them functional. However, if this protease enzyme itself is inhibited, this polyprotein cannot become smaller functional protein. Hence, the virus cannot become, you know, active. So whatever is there, they are like immature, non-infectious viral particles will be produced. So the person is saved from the attack of the virus. Uh, other points you should know, they are, they can have cross resistance within the group and uh, usually PIs are combined with other RTIs, that is reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Coming to the adverse effects of uh, protease inhibitors, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache, Skeletal muscle um, wasting, limb, facial tingling, numbness, diabetes can get precipitated because the person get, can get insulin resistance, lipodystrophy and uh, an HIV patient who is on treatment can come and tell you that he's getting kidney stones. Oopsie. So tell me, you there's a HIV patient, you're giving him antiretroviral drugs and he can come back to you with what complaints? Diabetes, renal stones, lipodystrophy. He can tell you that he is feeling tum, uh, tingling and numbness on the face, skeletal muscle wasting, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headache. Headache, headache, headache. He says, oh, I have headache. Oopsie. Okay. So then we went off to uh, ritonavir. Ritonavir, the main thing you should know is ritonavir is uh, it's inhibiting enzyme. As it inhibits enzyme, it can increase the drug level of the other drugs. Hence, it is always used in combination with the other PIs and that is called as boosted PI regimen. You should know this word, boosted PI regimen, ritonavir. So, a low dose ritonavir that is 100 mg only uh, given with other PIs will boost the dose of the other drugs, correct? So, what else, what else, what else? Don't combine it with nelfinavir though because it cannot make nelfinavir more, okay? Usually combined with etazana fir. Moving on to Indinavir IDV. In Dinavir IDV. Now this is okay, same thing you will write. If they give Indinavir in the exam, you will write same thing. It is an antiretroviral drug. It's a protease inhibitor. How it works, same thing you will write. Whatever we told at the beginning of this video, same thing you will write here. If they give Indinavir. It's not used much now. Why? Because it causes um, renal calculi and uh, hyperbilirubinemia okay this is just a representational image this is actually it will be in hiv patients correct okay um two things you should know renal calculi that is nephrolithiasis and uh, hyperbilirubinemia indinavir should be taken on empty stomach see these tablets capsules what they have shown here indinavir should be taken on empty stomach empty stomach okay they should be taken on empty stomach are you able to see take indinavir on empty stomach however nelfinavir which we are coming to now that you should take with food because food increases the absorption of nelfinavir see nelfinavir take with meals food increases the absorption okay now it is metabolized by this uh, enzyme cyp2 C19 that is uh, cytochrome P452 C19 as it is metabolized by a different enzyme ritonavir is going to suppress which enzyme CYP3A4 so it is really not connected with ritonavir so that is why ritonavir and nelfinavir are not 
combined i mean there is no much um, they are they, if they combine also nelfenavir's dose will not increase because the enzyme that is metabolizing nelfenavir is a different enzyme it is not used in boosted pi regimen as the clinical efficacy is lower same thing we have already explained it is not used in the boosted pi regimen because its clinical efficacy is lower it is less popular now so ritonavir only they are telling they will use they will not use nelfenavir indina indina fir indina vir no not used much they are saying not used much now not used much now when we go to anti retroviral therapy uh, when we go to hiv treatment right that time we will come to know more please come to that video also there you will know more hiv therapy right there you will know more come back we will discuss hiv therapy in next video so in this video what and all we saw nelfenavir indinavir okay very little that you have learnt in this video let's see what and all uh, our friend learnt what did you learn friend i learnt that uh, there are two uh, drugs indinavir and nelfenavir not used much now uh, indinavir should be taken on uh, empty stomach and nelfenavir should be taken on uh, uh, with food because food increases absorption nelfenavir is not combined with ritonavir very good very good then um, uh, indinavir uh, causes uh, nephrolithiasis and hyperbilirubinemia everything else about protease inhibitors also we should write here very good very good okay see you in the next video guys bye bye